I think it still would be at this level no matter if I would have came here or not. Let's not get it twisted. The four years I was here, it was amazing. I loved everything about it. Loved this franchise. This franchise is top tier. It's one of the best franchises in the world. But as far as my career, my career was going to be my career. And as far as individually, because I know how much I put into the game and I know how much I strive to be as great as I can be. <laughs> and as far as what I was able to learn, he was second to none. That's for sure. Yes. Okay. Shannon. Yes. Do you agree with what LeBron said about his time in Miami? Hell no. I vehemently disagree. I strenuously disagree with what he said. At the time that he had arrived in Miami, he had two M he had two regular season MVPs and one finals appearance through his first seven seasons. LeBron, do you realize the reason why you got into the GOAT conversation because of what transpired in Miami? You won two more finals MVPs. You more won two more regular season MVPs. You went to four straight finals. LeBron, how can you say that your career was going to be the same without going to Miami? LeBron, I'm not so sure had you not gone to Miami, how do I make a com compelling case and I can argue any case before the Supreme Court? How do I make a case that he's a top five player if he doesn't go to Miami, Stephen A? I don't understand why LeBron wants to be so dismissive. Okay, I get it. You dislike Pat Riley. Pat Riley didn't give you the, 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 the latitude that Cleveland, like the Lakers do. I get everything that you're saying from that aspect. But to sit there and sit in front of a, 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 the media and say your career was going to be the, your career was going to be the career? Come on, LeBron, man. You got to stop this. It's okay to give the Miami Heat the credit that they deserve. Man. <sighs> I almost caught a heart attack. <laughs> I cannot believe I am so proud of you right now. I thought you were going to disagree. This touches my heart, Chad <laughs> Shaw. I, I didn't believe you were capable of such a thing. Hey, come on. I don't, with LeBron, I mean, we are marching locks. It's supposed to be a debate show. But damn it, ain't no debate here. No. Because you're 1,000% correct. What the hell is wrong with you, LeBron? What the hell is wrong with you? Let me tell y'all something. LeBron James loses. In Boston, when he goes to Miami, how does it happen? You got James Dolan talking about making him a billionaire. That didn't work. You got other teams looking at him. Pat Riley rolled up and put rings on the table. Right. Do, do you want these? Okay. Well, here's how you get them. Now, obviously, I broke the story about how he's going to end up taking his talents to South Beach. But make no mistake about it. Do y'all understand the greatness of a Hall of Famer by the name of Dwayne Wade? Yes. He was a great player. He was a great leader. Let's go back to LeBron's rookie year. LeBron, every press conference was D. Wade looking right at it, was sitting right next to him. Why was that? Because mentally, despite the greatness of LeBron James as a talent, mentally he was warped. He was scared to shoot free throws. He was scared to really take the bull by the horn. Give me the rock. I'm that dude. I'm that man. Okay? So much so that even after they lost in the finals to Dallas, when Jason Terry was guarding him in the post in the fourth quarter. And don't J. get J. me J. Barrea. And J.J. Barea. Okay? No, no, come on, stop, by the way. The bottom line is this. When that happened, the following year, All-Star Weekend, and I've said this many times, LeBron James got the ball in his hands. The late, great Kobe Bryant claps his hands. Let's go and defend them. An exhibition All-Star game to just having a good time. And he threw the ball in the corner, and it was a turnover. And Melo, D-Wade, Kobe, Kobe, everybody descended on LeBron. What's the matter with you? He was warped. He was, and that is why, Shannon Sharp. I haven't given him the title as GOAT because I got to take into account all of those things before you started winning championships. And what I'm saying is that he's been going against Jordan and those brothers right. with that kind of mentality before he ever won a championship. He'd have never won one. They'd have shut it down because they'd have snatched his heart. But because he got to Miami and learned what it took to be a champion, okay. he's been unstoppable since. I there's a difference. Let me play devil's advocate because yes. I'm not sure you guys are totally reading his quotes right. So he says, I think I would still be at this level no matter if I would have came here or not. Meaning I'd be this type. Let me just go through it. Yes. I'd be this type of caliber yes, player. I believe that. Whether I went to Miami or not. Let me dive into it again. But as far as my career, my career was going to be my career as far as individually. Because I know how much I put in the game and what I strive to be. Meaning like my destiny was my destiny. Th this is what was planned for me. And I put in the work. No matter where I went, I was going to make it first. happen. How do you see fault in that? How about this? I'll yes, I, I believe he probably would have been the all-time leading scorer 
but there is no argument that could be made that he's the GOAT. There would be no argument that could be made that he's a top five player. How do you know that? Because he doesn't have championships, Molly. You cannot be, you cannot be in the GOAT. How do you know he couldn't have gone somewhere else and got championships? See, now we're doing hypothetical. But I'm just saying, that's what he's saying. This is a hypothetical. Well, well hypothetically. You want, you, want, you want me to take a shot? You want me to take a shot? Molly, there? Molly, let's deal with what we okay. know. Why is it so hard for him to say, you know what? Miami was great for me. I won two of my, I won two of my finals MVPs in this location. I won two regular season MVPs in location. That's when people start. Once he went to Miami, a lot of people said the best version of LeBron James in his 21-year career was that four-year block in Miami. He was sensational yep. on both ends of the court. Okay, yes. Would he have still been playing 21 years? I believe he'd have still been playing 21 years. I believe he'd have been playing at this level. But I do not believe we would, not, Stephen A and others would be having a conversation that he's in the GOAT debate. I believe he's number one had he not gone okay. to Miami. Well,